Welcome to our Bible study series by HelpfulScripture.com. In this video, we review the 10 most relevant Bible verses about sorcery. If you want to study this topic more, then be sure to click the link below to our website. Our website, HelpfulScripture.com, has many more passages on this topic, and hundreds of additional topics. Also, if you want to share the Bible with others, then click the like button and share this video with your friends. Now let's get started. Passage number 1. The first verse on the subject of sorcery is Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 9 through 14. It says, When you have come into the land which Yahweh your God gives you, you shall not learn to imitate the abominations of those nations. There shall not be found with you anyone who makes his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, one who uses divination, one who tells fortunes, or an enchanter, or a sorcerer, or a charmer, or someone who consults with a familiar spirit, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For whoever does these things is an abomination to Yahweh. Because of these abominations, Yahweh your God drives them out from before you. You shall be blameless with Yahweh your God. For these nations that you shall dispossess listen to those who practice sorcery and to diviners, but is for you, Yahweh your God has not allowed you so to do. Passage number 2. The second verse in our study of sorcery is found in Galatians chapter 5, verses 19 through 21. It says, Now the deeds of the flesh are obvious, which are, adultery, sexual immorality, uncleanness, lustfulness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, strife, jealousies, outbursts of anger, rivalries, divisions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these, of which I forewarn you, even as I also forewarned you that those who practice such things will not inherit God's kingdom. Passage number 3. For our third verse, we turn in our Bible to Isaiah chapter 47, verses 9 through 15. It reads, But these two things will come to you in a moment in one day, the loss of children and widowhood. They will come on you in their full measure, in the multitude of your sorceries, and the great abundance of your enchantments. For you have trusted in your wickedness. You have said, No one sees me. Your wisdom and your knowledge has perverted you. You have said in your heart, I am, and there is no one else besides me. Therefore disaster will come on you. You won't know when it dawns. Mischief will fall on you. You won't be able to put it away. Desolation will come on you suddenly, which you don't understand. Stand now with your enchantments and with the multitude of your sorceries, in which you have labored from your youth, as if you might profit, as if you might prevail. You are wearied in the multitude of your counsels. Now let the astrologers, the stargazers, and the monthly prognosticators stand up and save you from the things that will happen to you. Behold, they are like stubble. The fire will burn them. They won't deliver themselves from the power of the flame. It won't be a coal to warm at or a fire to sit by. The things that you labored in will be like this. Those who have trafficked with you from your youth will each wander in his own way. There will be no one to save you. Passage number 4. This is from Exodus chapter 7, verses 10 through 12. The scripture says, Moses and Aaron went into Pharaoh, and they did so, as Yahweh had commanded. Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. Then Pharaoh also called for the wise men and the sorcerers. They also, the magicians of Egypt, did the same thing with their enchantments. For they each cast down their rods, and they became serpents, but Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. Passage number 5. The fifth verse is from Acts chapter 8, verses 9 through 24. The Bible says, But there was a certain man, Simon by name, who used to practice sorcery in the city and amazed the people of Samaria, making himself out to be some great one, to whom they all listened, from the least to the greatest, saying, This man is that great power of God. They listened to him because for a long time he had amazed them with his sorceries. But when they believed Philip preaching good news concerning God's kingdom and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women. Simon himself also believed. Being baptized, he continued with Philip. Seeing signs and great miracles occurring, he was amazed. Now when the apostles who were at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent Peter and John to them who, when they had come down, prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for as yet he had fallen on none of them. They had only been baptized in the name of Christ Jesus. Then they laid their hands on him, and they received the Holy Spirit. 
Now when Simon saw that the Holy Spirit was given through the laying on of the apostles' hands, he offered them money, saying, Give me also this power, that whomever I lay my hands on may receive the Holy Spirit. But Peter said to him, May your silver perish with you, because you thought you could obtain the gift of God with money. You have neither part nor lot in this matter, for your heart isn't right before God. Repent therefore of this, your wickedness, and ask God if perhaps the thought of your heart may be forgiven you. For I see that you are in the poison of bitterness and in the bondage of iniquity. Simon answered, Pray for me to the Lord, that none of the things which you have spoken happen to me. Congratulations. You've made it halfway through our study. So let's pause here for a moment. I want to remind you again that if you want to study this topic more, then be sure to visit the link in the description below. The link will take you to our website, helpfulscripture.com, where you can study more Bible verses on the subject of sorcery and hundreds of other topics. Now let's continue our study on sorcery. Passage number 6 is from Acts chapter 19, verses 11 through 20. It says, God worked special miracles by the hands of Paul, so that even handkerchiefs or aprons were carried away from his body to the sick, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out. But some of the itinerant Jews, exorcists, took on themselves to invoke over those who had the evil spirits the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, We adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preaches. There were seven sons of one Sceva, a Jewish chief priest, who did this. The evil spirit answered, Jesus I know, and Paul the first know, but who are you? The man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on him, overpowered them, and prevailed against them, so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. This became known to all, both Jews and Greeks, who lived at Ephesus. Fear fell on him all, and the name of the Lord Jesus was magnified. Many also of those who had believed came, confessing and declaring their deeds. Many of those who practiced magical arts brought their books together and burned them in the sight of all. They counted their price, and found it to be fifty thousand pieces of silver. So the word of the Lord was growing and becoming mighty. Passage number 7. The seventh verse is found in Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. The Bible says, but for the cowardly, unbelieving, sinners, abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their part is in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. Passage number 8. The eighth verse on the subject of sorcery is from Acts chapter 13, verses 6 through 12. It reads, when they had gone through the island to Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew whose name was Bar-Jesus, who was with the proconsul, Sergius Paulus, a man of understanding. This man summoned Barnabas and Saul, and sought to hear the word of God. But Elymas the sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation withstood them, seeking to turn the proconsul away from the faith. But Saul, who is also called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, fastened his eyes on him and said, You son of the devil, full of all deceit and all cunning, you enemy of all righteousness, will you not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? Now, behold, the hand of the Lord is on you, and you will be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. Immediately a mist and darkness fell on him. He went around seeking someone to lead him by the hand. Then the proconsul, when he saw what was done, believed, being astonished at the teaching of the Lord. Passage number 9. Our ninth verse is from Revelation chapter 18, verse 23. The passage states, The light of a lamp will shine no more at all in you. The voice of the bridegroom and of the bride will be heard no more at all in you, for your merchants were the princes of the earth, for with your sorcery all the nations were deceived. Passage number 10. Our tenth and final verse on the subject of sorcery is from 2 Chronicles chapter 33, verses 1 through 7. It says, Manasseh was twelve years old when he began to reign, and he reigned fifty-five years in Jerusalem. He did that which was evil in Yahweh's sight, after the abominations of the nations whom Yahweh cast out before the children of Israel. For he built again the high places which Hezekiah his father had broken down, and he raised up altars for the Baals, made Asheroth, and worshipped all the army of the sky, and served them. He built altars in Yahweh's house, of which Yahweh said, my name shall be in Jerusalem forever. He built altars for all the army of the sky in the two courts of Yahweh's house. He also made his children to pass through the fire in the valley of the son of Hinnom. 
He practiced sorcery, divination, and witchcraft, and dealt with those who had familiar spirits and with wizards. He did much evil in Yahweh's sight, to provoke him to anger. He set the engraved image of the idol, which he had made, in God's house, of which God said to David and to Solomon his son, In this house, and in Jerusalem, which I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel, I will put my name forever. This concludes our Bible study on the topic of sorcery. If you want to study this topic more, then click the link below to visit our website, where we have many more Bible verses related to sorcery, and hundreds of other Bible subjects. Also, remember to like the video and share it with your friends on social media, to help spread the gospel. Thanks again for listening and God bless.